What's going on everybody? It's just another day in the kitchen, back with another episode, and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at Travis Scott aka Laflame and his collaboration with the ultimate luxury streetwear brand, Mastermind Japan. Now before we get started, I wanted to give a special shout out to the homie Strain Beats who's been cooking up the beats for these videos, so make sure you guys show him some love. And while you're here, you might as well drop a like and subscribe, and join our free discord to stay up to date with the latest and the greatest. Shout out to all my chefs in there. Now today's video takes us back nearly 3 years to August of 2021 when Laflame was dropping his Fragment Jordan 1 Low collaboration. And if you're not familiar, this was a collaboration between Hiroshi Fujiwara, the creator of the legendary Japanese fragment design, and of course Cactus Jack who he teamed up with and created this dope visual teaser for. Now I don't know about you, but Laflame always has really dope visuals and just seeing that little teaser video got me really hyped. And it was actually used the first time Travis Scott dropped the Fragment Jordan 1 highs, so if it sounds familiar, it definitely is. Now it was in August of 2021 that Travis dropped the following Jordan 1 low on his website, which included this raffle as you guys can see here. And as I highlighted, unfortunately multiple entries were apparently not allowed, although that definitely didn't stop botters who were unfortunately able to devour both of these Travis Scott Fragment collaborations. And I wanted to include this Hype Beast article because it was such a big trending topic when these dropped that I still remember how many people were pissed and I still am to this day. And although it honestly feels like I'm always entering his raffles in vain, one of my favorite parts of all of his sneaker releases is that there tends to be some kind of merch release. So right now we're taking a look at the first Travis Scott Jordan Fragment t-shirt which retailed for about $50 and as you can see today about 3 years later it definitely holds up despite these Nike Fragment collection pieces dropping not only on Travis's official website but also on the Nike app and the Nike website as well. And I have to say, especially for those of you that aren't familiar, for a collaboration that features not only Jordan brand apparel, but also Cactus Jack and Travis Scott, as well as the Fragment brand as well, it's honestly a very reasonably priced collaboration and collection, because I've definitely seen some pricey Jordan brand pieces throughout the years. Now to round out these first few merch pieces we also have these shorts, but the main focus of this collection in this video is of course to highlight Laflame's collaboration with the legendary Japanese streetwear brand Mastermind Japan. Now I wanted to go ahead and show everyone what the current website looks like so you guys can get an idea of the aesthetic, and although the prices were in Japanese yen, I did find this website that also has the pieces to also give you guys an idea of current day. And while you might be watching this video and thinking some of these prices are quite high or maybe even outrageous, I did want to notate that all of these pieces are produced from very high quality material and all produced in Japan. Now as far as this very low key collaboration with Mastermind Japan, another thing I wanted to highlight about the brand itself is the actual motif and use of the skull and crossbones which they go on to mention the whole point of it is to reject modern norms and to create a whole dark aesthetic which I think you guys can see and honestly this piece right here definitely has to be my favorite. And as is tradition with every great Travis Scott merch drop we've also got these dope collab socks right here which honestly I wouldn't mind picking up myself. And while we do see the repeating use of the skull and bone symbolism on the Mastermind Japan branding I think it's definitely on brand with Travis Scott's overall aesthetic throughout this time. And I just wanted to point out how much I appreciate the effort that goes into all of these designs and drops. And while I feel like this Mastermind Japan Fragment collaboration, which I know is a mouthful, kind of went under the radar, I honestly feel like it's underappreciated, especially when you see some of these pieces and some of the prices. 
Now something else I wanted to point out while going over this merch and while thinking about La Flame's most recent Utopia drop is that the pricing of the tees is pretty much consistent with most of the t-shirts and the most recent one being around $55. Now for my next favorite pieces, it's definitely got to be those shorts right there with the eagle symbolism, which has of course followed La Flame throughout his career, but most importantly and most prominently probably during the Birds in the Trapsing McKnight era. Now something else that I wanted to point out that I also appreciate about La Flame's merch drops is the fact that he actually exposes his fans to all of these different brands. I would definitely be lying if I said that I had heard about Mastermind Japan before this drop, and although the symbolism of it seemed a little bit familiar, it wasn't until I had done the research for this particular video that I found out just how iconic some of these Japanese streetwear brands are. And something else I wanted to point out while we're on the topic is that we've also got these dope sweatpants, and also one of my favorite pieces from this drop, which is of course just Travis Scott's classic brown toned hat featuring the Mastermind Japan logo there. And something else I always think about whenever I look back at Travis's merch drops is how you can really be dripped out in his apparel from head to toe. Because to wrap up this collection, we've of course got this dripped out belt for a cool $150, as well as some additional socks right here that you can pick up. And although the last piece of merch from this collection seems to be just an unbranded Cactus Jack t-shirt, I had to give it some love because even that's pretty hard. And again, La Flame is definitely the king of merch. Now something else I wanted to point out is that it feels like Travis Scott has also made it a tradition to be seen courtside while wearing his latest upcoming sneakers. And as you can see in these upcoming photos, here he is wearing the at the time unreleased Travis Scott Jordan 1 Lowe's. And speaking of sitting courtside and showing off some unreleased Travis Scott Jordan 1 lows, here's Hiroshi Fujiwara, creator of Fragment and the owner of the brand himself, showing off a pair that's yet to release. And of course, while wrapping up the research for this video, I was super curious how much a pair of these Travis Scott Jordan 1 low fragments would cost you if you wanted to get your hands on them today. And as you can see, most sizes are consistently anywhere from $1,200 up to $2,000. So if you want to bless your boy with a size 13, holla at me. And just to highlight how big the hype was for these sneakers, here's a photo of the GOAT of basketball, Michael Jordan himself spotted wearing not only the Fragment merch, as well as the Travis Scott Jordan 1 Lowe's. Now I also feel like it wouldn't be right of me to not acknowledge the Fragment collaboration that took place for the Jordan 1 highs, so if you guys remember that, and if you want that in a separate video, let me know in the comments. Now with all that being said, if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching, and thank you for cooking with the kitchen. I thought that this would be a dope video to highlight a forgotten and slept on merch collaboration and if you picked up any pieces from this collaboration, let us know in the comments. As always guys, thank you so much for cooking with the kitchen, let me know what you guys would like to see next, and remember to stay safe, it's lit, and straight up, <laughs> peace, and don't forget to join the free discord.